While trying to make more videos for the Photix TV relaxing playlist, I've been lugging around a tripod. It's not been fun. That's when I remembered about the Pocket Tripod by Geometrical. That's the point of this video. It's a review of the Pocket Tripod Pro. It's a credit card sized device that converts into a little stand for your mobile phone. The overwhelming majority of pictures taken today are taken with mobile phones. It goes back to an old photography saying, the best camera you have is the one you have with you. Well, Geometrical put a modified version of that saying right inside the box. The best tripod is the one that's with you. On the left side of the universal kit, a fit card is included to measure the size of your phone. This is an important part of using the pocket tripod, as it can be tough to decide the right size. That's why I prefer the somewhat more expensive universal kit versus the single size option. If the pocket tripod is as long lasting as a wallet ninja, then I plan to use it a long time. That means I like having the option of changing adapter pairs, as the pocket tripod should outlast my current phone. The fit does need to be a little snug, especially if you're creating something like a time-lapse video. Otherwise, a strong breeze could cause your phone to wobble around. But if you're just taking quick selfies, you might prefer a looser fit, as that would make it easier to get your phone in and out of the tripod. Just like ordering a pair of shoes or a t-shirt, you have to choose what feels comfortable to you. As an example, I think 8mm is a nice size for the original iPhone SE. However, the Pocket Tripod website recommends 7.5mm for a bare and original iPhone SE. So, even though you could save $10 by picking an exact size, that might be too limiting in the long run. You could change phones, or even cases. That's why I think it's nice to have the extra adapters. Although, the website says, if the tripod you buy isn't the right size for your phone or case, we'll send you a free pair of adapters in the size you need. Again, I opted to avoid that hassle and went with the universal kit. If you're giving the Pocket Tripod Pro as a gift, then your recipient very well may enjoy having different size options too. One more thing about the fit card. It was covered in a protective film. I was wondering why it looked so bubbly in the pictures. The instructions on the card say it can be used as a millimeter caliper, or a way to set your camera's white balance. But the fit card is only an entree. The real meal of this review is the Pocket Tripod Pro itself. To get to it, I would have to tear open the box. This is a real shame as it's one of the best package designs I've ever seen. Seriously, I didn't open it right away as I was so impressed with the box. It sat on my desk for a couple of days, but eventually I tore it open. There are two tabs to rip sideways, revealing the third part of the trifold. Once inside, there's a warning to greet you. It says, never bend the two halves. This will damage the center hinge. Sadly, while trying to figure out how to separate the pocket tripod into two parts, I did bend the two halves, so it's a good idea to heed the warning. While the pocket tripod is pretty stiff, you shouldn't have to force it to transform. Not surprisingly, but quite satisfyingly, it worked as expected. The pocket tripod holds a mobile phone in place. And when you're done, the pocket tripod can be tucked away in a wallet. Actually, even though it's called the pocket tripod, the website recommends storing it in a wallet, not just a pocket. That's no problem. It can make friends with my wallet ninja. Although they may not be the best of buddies, as the pocket tripod took away one of the jobs of the wallet ninja. The pocket tripod is a much better cell phone stand as it's way easier to adjust the viewing angle. While the name Pocket Tripod suggests that it's primarily a tool for photography, it could be useful for watching movies or playing video games while on the go. However, the Pocket Tripod is meant to work with mobile phones, not tablets. I tried to use it with my iPad, and it kinda worked, but it was a little too wobbly. 
I'm going to leave that job to my anchor. But to truly test out the pocket tripod, I took it to the beach. The objective was to create a time-lapse video, which is really difficult to do without a tripod. This is the end result. Wow, look at those rolling clouds. Very nice. However, this video also points out a huge limitation of the pocket tripod. Look at the horizon line. It's crooked. The pocket tripod can only be adjusted in one direction. This is not an insurmountable problem though. See, I can straighten the horizon line in editing. This goes back to the slogan for the device. The best tripod is the one that's with you. Tripods are big, kinda heavy, and lots of people might look at you weird when you carry them around. While a traditional tripod may yield better photographic results, that doesn't help me if it's back at home. With a pocket tripod, it's small, lightweight, and discreet. Since it now has permanent residency in my wallet, that creates more opportunities to create better photographs and videos. As an example, years ago I bought a copy of the Slow Shutter Cam app. I was amazed at what it could do with the iPhone camera, especially in low light environments. These were photographic techniques that were usually reserved for pro cameras. However, I haven't used the app much since. That's because, to truly get the most out of the app, a tripod is necessary. I usually didn't have one with me, but now I do. So I'm excited to see what photos and videos I can make in the future. So, in conclusion, I like the Pocket Tripod Pro. It's a great idea, and it works as expected. Obviously, it's not the best tripod in the world, but it's certainly my most portable tripod. And when it comes to taking spontaneous pictures, availability is what matters most.